so if you found this and you're really confused why everything else on this channel I used to do some Transformers reviews but kind of stopped because I really don't know what I wanted to say about Transformers and you know it's like I can say oh this figure's good oh this figure's bad oh I don't like this but I do still enjoy reviewing them to an extent so that's why we're doing another installment of my top Transformers finds of the year with 2021. Alright, starting off the list is Core Class. This was something that was really odd when it came out, when it was announced, just that, you know, we were getting smaller Transformers, something we weren't that, that we were used to with um, the Battle Masters. But it was weird why they were there, and then until realize we got the arc. But there are loads of fun. They're tiny quick transformations that are loads of fun and pretty well done. I think my favorite all of them out of all of them is um Natron. Just because, you know, it's a little silver tank. And he gets his little uh, G1 call alt mode as like a secondary weapon. I think that's really cool. There's a couple of other ones like, you know, at least original wise, we have uh Vertebrake and Drakadon. And you know uh, I have Bumblebee in the stack only because, you know, Clearly, I'm pretty sure he's supposed to be, um, I think he's supposed to be core class, but they made him, put him in, like, Buzzer with Bumblebee. But yeah, he still looks fun. This is the one that's on my list. So I was like, this is cool, but I don't know what it's called. I don't remember where it's from. I know it's Cyberverse, but I don't know what the correct term is. He's fun. Like, I found him at Ollie's. I didn't even know this was a... Like, I knew Cyber was a thing, but I didn't know this figure was a thing. Uh, he's cool. And he's, I think, the only Optimus that has the uh, Matrix Blast thing. I think he's really cool. And, uh, yeah, I don't... There's just something about his transformation that I just really enjoy. I, I don't understand what I like about it. Maybe because it's, like, very... It's, like, mini Earthrise. It's like they're like he's between the Earth Race figure and then like a lot of the third party stuff. It's just loads of fun. All right, like I said in my in the beginning, like it filled in a lot of the G one stuff, and then like you know some of the movie stuff. This is like the weird spot where it didn't, and that's deep cover. I have both versions. I just like both really well. I like the Netflix one better because I like the blue on him. There aren't that many blue tutorials, and I, or it's called like the, what other blue one do we have? Tracks and Punch and Cutter Punch. That's really it. Like, and I just really like him. Like, you know, I'm glad we're getting um, his. Uh, partner for the original series. I don't remember his name, but we're getting him. And I'm gonna get him, so. But it's nice to have these two. I just like them both equally. I just like the Sideswipe a lot. I have so many of it now. I have, like, I have Sideswipe, Red Alert, this. Um, I thought I had a Tiger Stripe somewhere, but. Yeah. You guys are a lot of fun. This I just bought because of the colors. And that's G2 Ramjet I got because of the colors. And it, like, it's nice. I I do wish that the face was silver. And, you know, not anything else. Like, that would make him 10 times better. He'd be higher on the list. But originally I wanted to put Sandstorm in the list. with, And I realized, because I rewatched my old video, that's on there. I thought I bought that this year. I bought that last year. It feels like Earth, like Earthrise was the weird one where it came out and it was like sandwiched between Siege, which came out 2019, and Kingdom that came out 2021. And it feels like, you know, Siege ran into 2020 and then Kingdom started in like late 2020. So like Earthrise got like sandwiched in there. And so I 
like I feel like I don't like I don't have that many Earthrise figures. I think I have like ten. It and it's weird because I thought there was more, but like the, the weird stuff came out like stuff you couldn't find like Star Game was hard to find. Grapple's hard to find. Inferno was hard to find. Or no, Inferno was Kingdom. Was it? I don't remember. But like it was hard to find. Like Octopus was hard to find. Like all those figures things were hard to find. The ones I was able to find easy was um was uh double dealer which i find that odd like i just find that odd all right so i mentioned double dealer when i was talking about um uh um ramjet g2 ramjet why did i forget that but i realized i mentioned double dealer and how much I love Double Dealer. I want to be higher on the list. There's a lot of other figures I got this year that I really enjoy. So he's lower on the list, but I really enjoy him. He has some issues, but like, look at, look at him. Nice blue and turquoise. Like, he is just updated G1. Uh, I find his, you know, um, modes absurd. Like this, I like the uh, missile platform thing. I like that a lot. And then you get into this, like, Condor. And, you know, I don't know. People complain about him a little bit with, like, the wings and everything. I don't find that, you know, a problem. Like, it, it folds uh, uh, pretty neatly. Like, he hold, folds pretty neatly. He's, like, you know, his arms are a little off. Like, but he's loads of fun. Like, it, you, you, we're not going to have totally perfect toys. And the totally perfect ones. Like that Earth Rise Autos, the panels, like, it always comes off. But there's still, he's still loads of fun. Like, I think he's better figure than what people want to say. Like, him and Trax are, like, better figure than what people want to say. I don't, I don't know. I just really like him. He's, he's big and blue and loads of fun. Speaking of uh, Trax, look who we have next. And that's Trax. Like, Trax... When I saw him, I was like, oh, everyone's not going to like him. And then I saw much else. I was like, I like him. Because in the G1 cartoon, like season two, when they introduced all those new characters, I was captured by a lot of them. And I watched season two first instead of season one. So I had more appreciation for those secondary, second uh, season characters more than, you know, some of the others like Bumby and Optimus. And Trax was one of them. One, because he was British. And it just, he, he had an odd design. And the, his gimmick was... He had a flight mode, and I found that interesting, that he's one of the few Autobots that can actually fly, um, because they kind of ignore the whole, you know, we can fly after the pilot, oh crap, but yeah, and I just love design, I really can't wait to get a hold of that Road Rage, because I think she looks great as well, um, and clearly they had Road Rage idea first, before they did uh, tracks. Uh, because she has a little more paint in some areas, but I, I just like it. I, I do see the complaints. The knees are a little weird, and you know, the backpack's a little weird, but it's, it's a transformer. Everyone likes that classics, um, optimi like that classics will be with like the jet ski backpack thing. People like that, so. <sighs> The weird thing I noticed about my collecting, at least this year, is for some reason I got a hold of a bit of um, different Optimuses. Like I have a whole area on my shelf, on my shelf, full of Optimuses. I don't know why. I personally don't know why, but I do. I don't understand why I do, and I really wanted to put. The uh, Uroi uh, Shimmer Shrew, but I did that last year, I think. I, I, I don't know, but I have Laser Rop, uh, Laser Optimus. The Titans Return. I remember seeing this coming out. I was like, oh, it looks kind of stupid. And I'm wrong, because it's great. And I just saw the uh, the black version they had, not, not the Scourge, but like the G2 version, and I didn't get him. He's next to my list. I like him a lot. And I tried getting some of the other, like, the classics ones that they did. Oh, they tried doing something like this. 
I didn't get those, but I like him. He's a pretty solid figure. I don't have any big plates. Uh, there is the whole head jump gimmick. Mine does not work, so I don't want to mess with it. Um, I just like it. I think it's everything right with Titan's turn. Same with another figure on this list. But there's just something about him that I just really like. And, you know, he's pretty solid. I love... I, I, I kind of miss the sticker detailing. As long as I don't put it on myself. But I, it's still pretty good. Alright, so another Titans turn figure is... I did get a couple this year. And that's... Getaway? Or is it Breakaway? I don't remember which one they called him. But he's cool. Um, and, you know, like... <clears throat> I, there's something about Titans of Turn that I got me back into collecting. Even though it kind of took till Siege for me to consistently uh, get back into collecting. Just something about the design aesthetic that they had, I just really enjoyed. And this figure does not well for me. I didn't get Chrome Dome until later, but... Uh, yeah, I just love this figure. And I liked him in the comics. That's kind of why I got him. It was just the fun I had. So, what am I watching now? Plastic Addict, go check out TJ Omega. But, just something about this figure I just love. I just love how he transforms. And I'd love to see this come into Batmobile for crossovers. Do it. Let's do it. Uh, while, we're, while we're on that, uh, I'm just going to throw in the Titans Return uh, reissues. Uh, I got all of Wave 1. Uh, I haven't found Wave 2 at all. I do want to get those, but I just love the card art on these. Don't worry, the tip decks are not in the card art. I made sure they'll be a little boxed, but they're preserved. I, I loved, I just something about the card art, and I got all these out to play with, and I just love the transformation. It's just something I just really enjoy. All right, so Siege, for me, is weird. I got a lot of those figures. And the one that invaded me the most was Springer. The character I always loved in the movie, and after hearing like that he was like Han Solo, I really liked him as a kid after that, as Han Solo's one of my favorite characters in Star Wars. And just something about him I just loved. I just love his design. I love that he got a toy. He does have some slight issues, like in his legs, it's, but due to ch him being a trumpet changer, he folds up nice and well. Backpack's not too baggy. And you see, I got him an upgrade kit. Something I don't think Springer would have, at least a movie Springer. Uh, I can't wait till the studio series. Maybe if they clean up, do a clean version, I'll get that as well, just to have two, because he's such a great figure. Or, you know, if they uh, retool a little bit, little bit of it, you know, add a couple things, they easily could. I just love it. I just love the colors, and he's just a fun toy to mess with, and I just appreciate that Siege made a Springer, even though he didn't get to show the show. It was really, really sad. Another green man is Thrust. This was one I really didn't want. Until I found him in the store. I found him and I immediately fell in love with him. Just something about him. Just something about this I love. I did not like that Starscream one they made. Uh, but this cleans it up. I don't know. The... Uh, um, still crap. This one's really fun. I, I just something I truly really enjoy about it, and I, maybe just the greens, and maybe because he was the one I noticed the first watching the movie on the Cybertron seat. I saw a green uh, coat head. And I was like, oh, really cool. I kind of wish he had more of the coat head, but they do a nice compromise with the uh, cone tip. Just something I really love. I, I just something I truly really love about this figure. I don't know what it is. I just love it. And, you know, it was a surprise find of 2021. All right.
right, so the last Titans Return figure on this list is Power Master Optimus. This one was Spice Farm Cheap, gone for about 25 bucks. Complete. He is one chunky sucker. And he could match wits with another figure on this list. Just something about it. I just really like. I like the grays that are broken up in it. I don't I don't know why. I just do. And it's this nice backpack with like this turntable thing and I don't know. The one part I do have is one of the shins. Um, the pins broke off so it's kind of hard. So if I just tap it just right, it falls off. But he's still a nice figure. He's got some he's he's very light but very sturdy. Uh, as a lot of figures sometimes are just like big like this but just heavy with the plastic this one i don't feel like i'm gonna break anything i just like it and just the colors on him oh, they're just great i can't wait maybe we'll get a power of master optimus in legacy but i'd rather have that fire truck optimus from red All right, so the crossover lines were the weird thing I was kind of excited for, but I was like, oh, I'm never going to get those because they're all going to be store exclusives. Until Christmas, uh, where I got hold of Jigawatt. Originally, I was going to get myself a Rekgar, even though I already had one, but I wanted to have two, but I was like, I could easily go grab that at Walmart. But Jigawatt I saw, I was like, I'll get him. I'll see how he, how he is before I get any other crossover figures. He is great. He's um, from the Sideswipe mold. But they make it seem like it's not. There's just slight touches. And I don't feel like the weapons are a thing where it's like, oh, it's got weapons. Hides very well. He hides under the bumper. I find them very well. You know, he's got the, um, the, the, the lightning hook thing. They didn't have to give him that. But they did. And I just can't wait to see what else they do with uh, the crossovers. I think all of them are heads, except for me. That, 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 that Top Gun one's garbage. But all the other ones are pretty neat. So, yeah. Go get him. I just love him. I love his big blue eyes. He's just really great. A great transformer. He can go really south. And he's pretty good. All right, so I had this guy on my list last year. Uh, uh, I, I'm going to re reiterate what I said last time with Ultra Magnus is with Siege One was I don't want to pay the price for him, but I do like that figure. But this one, they cleaned up stuff, and I like him way better now. Kingdom Ultra Magnus is. My Ultra Magnus. If there's another one. I'll be mad because I'll probably have to get him as well. But, th but this one, I can. This will hold me off till you know the next good one, which you know the only other good one they could do is if they did uh, um, the Woolly Mammoth Ultra Magnus or Slammoth. Like that's, that's, only, that's the only thing they love to do. Um, he's just a great figure. I it's just something about him. Just a lot the same way, but it feels different. There's something about that I really enjoy. I just love just the cleaned up design of him. It's just loads of fun. All right, next off is not Inferno, but no, it's Artfire. Artfire was the one I was the most excited for. As I find out, whenever they do repaint, I'm more gravitated towards those in the original version. I don't understand what it is, but I just love Heartfire. Uh, I'm gonna put Inferno with this as well because they're essentially the same figure, but the colors work way better on Heartfire than they do. Inferno, Inferno, big red fire truck, but I like the white one better. And in Target Masters, I can do without, but you know, him, I just love the nice whites. He just was a character I saw in a comic book once. I was like, he's cool. And I was kind of bummed that, you know, we never got a figure. And I really like it. I'd rather have this color design for Art Fire, or sorry, for Inferno, even though if, uh, Inferno and um, Art Fire are two separate characters. But yeah, he's he's still a, a ton of fun. I just really like him. There's something about him I just really enjoy.
All right, next off is, this was actually, I think, my first find of 2021, maybe. And that was Studio Series Hot Rod. I'm kind of bummed that uh, Commander uh, Hot Aronimus uh, isn't on this list. Haven't found them yet. There were three there one day. Went there, you know, a week later, and they're all gone. That's what happens. And I just love them. I remember being at a Target, getting them, going to the hotel I was at, opening them up, transforming, and loving it. And I wasn't expecting all the accessories, the saw blade, and the blasters, and the blast effects, and the matrix, the matrix spark effect. Like, wasn't expecting that. And I just love it. I don't have any real complaints. Like, everything fits and folds neatly. Uh, I know someone was calling about a blue pen inside the, the the back or something. I find that really dumb. Just get over it. He He's he's great. He's full of attitude. He's, you know, the perfect uh, Rodimus. Though sometimes he does feel a little small. He's totally loads of fun. All right, it's prime time with Optimus Primal. This is the one. If then the Earthrise Optimus, when I got him, how long it took me to get him. But when I did, I just loved it. I got this and um, Beast Wars Megatron together. And I wouldn't have put Beast Wars Megatron on this, but I, like after one transformation, I was done. Same with Optimus Primal. But something I just love more about his design, I just love putting my hands on him, like the the the, the, the fur thing. Like I I love Beast Force Megatron, but there's just something I liked more about Optimal Primal, or sorry, Optimus Primal, that was more engaging transformation. Like Beast Force Megatron can go from frustrating to fun. This is just fun. Though it is a little janky, it's still tons of fun. I just personally really enjoy it. I love all the weapons. There's like nice little, nice little details like pop-up guns that are on his arms, you know, swords and everything. You know, it's pretty neat. Too bad he didn't for the base, but you know, if you get your paleo tracks, you could easily just do that yourself. All right. This was a line I was really excited for, and that was Shattered Glass. I just like the concept of it. I love the color swaps. We got uh, Goldbug and um, Megatron. The only two I got this year, so they both go on the list together. Uh, you know, I really want that Star Screen, but I gotta wait till it comes out next year, apparently now in February or something like that. Or sorry, not next year, this year. Holy crap. But yeah, I just something I just really enjoy. I just love the designs as they kind of use whatever designs were there at the time, and it happened to be Energon, my like one of my favorite series. You know, you might not like like it, but I really enjoy it, and I think that's what he's for the intro. But I just love it. I love Goldbug. I like his nice little blue mad face. Some people don't like him. I like him. I I think some people don't like him because he's been overused at this point. Same with Sideswipe. They didn't do anything different. It's all just repaints. They don't do slight remolders or anything. Um, it, I just really enjoy him. I like the gold, the gold and the black and everything. R really takes the cake this year was Shattered Glass Megatron. And I just, again, he could have been, people were like, oh, it's tiring. But they tried giving him a different alt mode. It may not work, but I still have a lot of fun. I was like, we could easily make a prime uh, Megatron as for Legacy. I doubt they will. They may give it its own mold. It'll look a little weird. Uh, much like that RC does. But I like them. And I like them even more when I got the upgrade kit. I got the upgrade kit because it was the shoulder cannons. Because I remember that being... And that's what drew, drew me onto Shadow Glass. I'm like, oh. He doesn't have a fusion cannon on his arm. It's on his shoulders. And it's something I really enjoyed about that. I don't know why. I just did. So, yeah. That's why he's this high list. Just because of... Nostalgia reasons, I just love him. And part of me, it's some Mandela effect where I thought this was supposed to be the Kingdom, uh, I'm sorry, the Earthrise Megatron for Shadow Glass, which I never saw at all. Like, I never saw that figure, so maybe it'll be my top, my top list for 2022. We'll see. But I just love the colors. The fluorescent blues just, oh, 
so great. He's a 80s light show. All right, there's four more on this list. And uh, the number four, Rickgar. This guy I saw, and I was like, holy crap, I forgot this was a thing. And I love him. Just the colors just pop. They're saturated. We got things like uh, rosy reddish pinks, and this, these reds, and these grays, and the roundness of the movies is in this, and he's got a perfect transition. I haven't picked up in Rekgar ever. I was just never interested in any of the other Rekgars that came out. This one just popped off the shelf and was like, hey, take me. And, it, and the reason it was not the opposable nipples. It was just the, the nostalgia I have for Rekgar. I, I really find myself calling Rekgar like Oh, even uh, Grinny Bong, like uh, Nitty Bong, like the Universal Greeting, or I'll just say, like, oh, we're working on my TV, like that stuff. Like, I don't understand why. I just do, he's just a character, like, I just really enjoyed it. And he just has a lo loads of detail, you know, and all his spikiness. And that's why he almost picked up a second one, which uh, I think I did. I don't know where he's at, though. But yeah. All right, it was really hard picking the next three, who I would put. But I had to go at last second, have to put number three with Jackpot. This is the one I was really intrigued by. Uh, I got him more for, because I wanted to show the sport for a figure, more because I wanted a repaint of Rad from it, not really Jackpot. Jackpot's still fun. I like the nice banana yellows. There aren't that many yellow transformers besides Bumby. Bumby just takes that market and hot shot. But now, Hot, you know, when Siege came out, they made Hot Shot, you know, his Cybertron version, and not this. So, I don't know. It's just something about this. I just really love it. I like his Battle Master. I just can't wait till we get uh, Rad. That's the one I'm more looking forward to. And he was on my list for last year. I just like his design, his colors more, you know, just something about it. But I do like this one. I like that Jazz Mold. Uh, it's a really decent mold. You know, surprise, they could have gone from Ricochet, you know, to go with Art Fire, but they went with Jackpot. So, cha ching. All right, number two is Studio Series of Grimlock. Oh, man. When I got this, I immediately picked it. I was like, I'm not going to get a leader class one today i was like oh go for you know what? i'm gonna give me cup even though i really don't want to get cup or blur blur was the only one i really don't want to get i don't know why but i ended up getting a blur i still haven't got a cup this this guy is he he's he's king like godzilla move over here is your played mate and your boss grimlock just something i enjoy he, he, like Power Master Optimus, he's light, but also very sturdy. Like, I feel like I'm not going to break him. He's just... They put so much work in the Dinobots. It's like, you have Dinobots, and then everyone else around... Like, all the other around him. Uh, you know... Slug... Slug's okay. Like, I like Slug. He... Very weird tail. Grandpa's got a weird tail as well. But there's more fun with this. Transformation-wise, I think... Very simple. Very uh, G1 Grimlock. And he is just an upscale of G1 Grimlock, essentially. Like... Crap. <sighs> One thing I don't like about G1 Grimlock. There we go. Just... Come on, quit taking my cord. Just, you know, updated, upscaled glory. Just takes everything of this and just cranks up to 12. Like, Grimlock, no do, no do math, but oh, there's something about him I just really like, and just, oh, as soon as I got him, it was just like, you're coming with me.
Alright, so what could be my number one? It could be a lot of things. This is one that I was like, I'm again, like, um, so I forget to say it, where I was looking at getting, this is what I really wanted, but I didn't want to pay the price for it until I got in hand. And that is Transformers Crossover Ultimate Expanse. Some people don't like him, I love him. He is great. His transformation can be a little frustrating, but still crud ton of fun. We got, you know, blades and optic blast. I was kind of bummed because I thought you got opti an optic blast with him. You don't, and I, I'm really bummed by that. But just, he's the 90s. Like, he's just loads of fun. Like, I don't, I think this is a slight or a major uh, retool of Studio Series Jetfire. Uh, but just something about him I just really love. And I, the blues and the yellows just work. Some people, some guy was complaining about, shouldn't it be black? It's called a blackbird. I'm like, I don't care. It's weird, this one didn't get a comic book. I think the others had comic books. I, well, at least Back to the Future did. And the Ghostbusters one. But I don't I know why Top Gun wouldn't get one. Why didn't X-Men get one? Like a one-off issue, like freaking heck. I'm sure Jonathan Hickman could write that while he's doing his whole Matrix thing with the with the X-Men. Like But he's just loads of fun. Like I have zero complaints besides slight uh, problems with transformation. But I just love it and like the detail you got, you know, he's just Cyclops. But with Wolverine claws, you easily could have just done Cyclops. It would have been fine. But, like, I don't know. Adding the claws and everything are just really cool. I just love it. Uh, you know, it would have been kind of funny or more interesting if they had, like, a snarl or they put in, like, a wheelchair or something. Like, something like that. Could, like, how much would that have been if he had, like, wheelchair legs? But just something about him, I just love. And he's just, like, something in my collection. Like, I have the box still. It's, like, sitting right up there. Just loads of fun. Like, this is... I don't know. This just filled weird pots in my collection or stuff that I didn't think I wanted or needed. So... There's a thumbnail. Or something. I, I, get, I can't believe I got a hold of this figure. But they're just... Something I just really enjoy. Transformers and, you know... Put down in the comments if you're a Transformers fan. If uh, you enjoyed um, any of these, or is there any, you got any of these figures, or you know, you want any of these figures, put down in the comments, stuff like that. You know, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, at a very Um I don't know. I just. It was weird here, uh, life wise, collection wise. So we'll see what 2022 brings. We'll see. We got Legacy coming up. I'm really excited for Legacy. Um, Hashtag bring me fire truck office. Hashtag uh, bring me a monstructor. So we need a monstructor. We're getting a Minasaur. Might as well just give us a monstructor. And hey, if you really like this content, consider just liking the video, leaving a nice comment of what you thought of what I reviewed, or any other comment. It, any comment really helps. You know, also, helping it is you subscribing to the channel and just sharing it with your friends. It really helps me out with the algorithm getting found and getting to more people. It's really four easy things. Or you also check out my Ko-Fi link. I um, have it set up where you can drop a buck or two. And you know, uh, if you really want a video made, you're like, hey, this is a new item. I want to know about it. And you know, I'll give it a shout out in the video, at the end, like at the end of the video. Uh, or if you want to give a random donation, that's fine as well. I'm not going to force you to. It's all down in the description, along with my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, at a variant and and uh, TikTok. And I think that's it. So, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing here. But check out some of these other videos that are popping up. You'll have a, uh, you know, if you want to check out a bunch of my videos, here's a playlist. And if you want to check out my recent video, it's right here. It's all right, right, right over here.